Okay, hey guys, it is Mark here from Techie Tutorials, and today, as you can tell by the title, I'm going to be going ahead and just telling you about some of the new features that are included in Sony Vegas Pro 10. Okay, so first of all, you can see their new uh, starting up logo, which you would all guess, and of course, the new toolbar logo. And okay, so the first things that <laughs> minor changes you might notice that I noticed, and um, they've moved some or they've copied some of the buttons, the play, stop, and um, back of frame, etc. Below the preview window, which is fairly handy in my opinion, because I often uh, I'm often enlarging the preview window. Also, another small feature you can see down here, you can input some values. Don't remember that in Pro 9 of using Pro 10 for a small bit now. Trying to get used to it for you guys, so uh, yeah, not much has changed. But I'm gonna go ahead and head over to the blog post I have here and go through some of the new features. Okay, so here we are on the Techie Tutorials blog where I've outlined some of the new features in Sony Vegas Pro 10. Now, there are others, but these are what I thought were the main features. So, the big, big feature that Sony is using in their marketing is the stereoscopic 3D editing. So, what this means is you can create stereoscopic 3D projects in Sony Vegas Pro 10 which is brilliant because um, the time where now every film is coming out in 3D and you know all the all the major films even Harry Potter and them are turning to 3D and now you can do it at home with Sony Vegas and hopefully we'll be able to get into that in future tutorials and see how it works the next feature I'm going to just tell you about is image stabilization so in Pro 9 there were a lot of people who were buying extra plugins such as new blue effects to stabilize their images and to remove the camera shake and now Sony has implemented an image stabilization feature into Pro 10 so we can do it without installing any extra programs now Sony Vegas did originally start out as an audio editing program if I remember correctly and there are new audio features now, so they're bringing back some more in-depth audio. And um, you'll have more options. And um, yeah, you'll be able to kind of mix audio from different devices. And um, yeah, they've brought more audio back. They focused on video before. Now they're bringing both back into it, and it looks brilliant. Next, I'm going to be touching on is the track grouping. Sony's uh, implemented a gr uh, track grouping feature which means that basically it'll be easier to organize your groups because you know if you're making an in-depth video you can go into tracks and tracks and tracks even I when I'm editing a tutorial I have probably about 10 tracks which is ridiculous but um, like just for a tutorial but um, you know that's okay but they can keep building up and track grouping will be very handy I think we also have an updated trimmer and video preview window which I showed you briefly and um, the preview window there and um, there is new video effects plugin architecture now I haven't touched too much on that so I can't tell you too much about that to be honest now I don't want to be telling you guys um, random stuff and then DVD, DVD rendering of course you can now render to blu-ray discs um, uh, again, Sony's bringing in another feature that has become very popular, Blu-ray. If your uh, DVD drive is compatible, you'll be able to burn Blu-ray discs so you can put your videos, Blu-ray quality, onto a DVD and play them on, on your DVD player or on your computer, you know, whatever. So anyway guys, those are the main features and um, guys, hope you enjoyed it very much and please subscribe Sony Vegas Pro 10 Tutorials will be on the way I was going to say shortly but this kind of is one, this is just an introduction and um, more on the way so yeah thanks for everyone for subscribing and um, yeah peace